All right, Titans, hello, and welcome to Chapter 9, Section 3. Here in Chapter 9, Section 3, we're going to multiply binomials. Now, we've been doing a lot of switching between multiplication of terms and addition of terms, and now here in 9.3, we're back to multiplication. So I want to just do some quick warm-up problems to kind of review uh, the difference between multiplication and addition subtraction. Uh, number one, what is 6z times 4z? Well, remember, when we're multiplying, we multiply the coefficients. 6 times 4 is 24. And z times z, we add the exponents. So we would get z squared. Another quick review warm-up problem here. Negative 2w times w plus 5. Here we would go ahead and simplify this by distributing. Negative 2w times w would be negative 2w squared. And negative 2w times 5 would be a negative 10w. Review problem number 3. 6q minus 9 minus 5q. Here we're subtracting. 6q minus 5q. Like terms, we can combine those. 6q minus 5q. When we're subtracting, we subtract the coefficients. The variable stays the same. So we would have 1q minus 9. And then we can't combine those. They're not like terms, so we just leave our answer as 1q minus 9. And then our last one today switches gears back to multiplication. 9x squared times 3x. If we multiply those two together, 9 times 3, and multiply the coefficients, is 27. And x squared times x would give us x cubed. Remember, when we're multiplying, we add the exponents. So there's a lot going on here with multiplication and addition and switching back and forth. So I wanted to do these review problems just so everybody is clear on the rules that we have for multiplication and for addition and subtraction. Now let's go ahead and get into Chapter 9, Section 3. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here in Chapter 9, Section 3, we're going to be multiplying binomials. 9.3, multiplying binomials. There's really three methods to do this. There's the double distributive method, or the double distributive property. There's the box method, and then there's the FOIL method. The FOIL method is normally the preferred method of students, uh, but I do see some students use the box method. Now, the double distributive property and the FOIL method, they're really the same thing. It's the same steps in general. It's just a little bit different way of doing it. So I'll show you, show you both methods. I'm guessing you'll latch on to the FOIL method, but I'll let you make that call here tonight. Our first method that we're going to look at is the double distributive method. And then I'll go ahead and take a, uh, take a look at what we call the box method. All right, so in this uh, lesson, we're going to multiply binomials. So we're going to take two terms and multiply it by another two terms, multiplying binomials. So here we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. One way of simplifying this is to use what we call the double distributive method. And the double distributive method is is done just the way it sounds. You double distribute. So we take the first term and we distribute it into the second term. That's our first distribution. So x times x gives us x squared and x times 3 gives us 3x as you can see below. Then we distribute the 2. We take 2 times x and 2 times 3. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. Now we're not done because this right here can be simplified. So to simplify it, we go ahead and combine like terms. The 3x and the 2x can combine to make 5x. So x plus 2 times x plus 3, after we double distribute, can be simplified down to being x squared plus 5x plus 6. That's our final solution. That's the double distributive method. Let's do one more example of the double distributive method. We have y plus 1 times y plus 4. So we go ahead and we take the first set of parentheses, the first binomial, and we distribute it into the second binomial. So we take y times y to get y squared. We take y times 4 to get 4y. Then we take the 1 and we also distribute it. We give it to the y, we give it to the 4. So 1 times y is 1y, 1 times 4 is 4. Then this can be further simplified because these two middle terms are like terms. So we can go ahead and combine them. 4y and 1y make 5y. So when we multiply these two binomials, we get y squared plus 5y plus 4. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and show you a second method to multiplying binomials. And the second method is the box method. Sometimes uh, we do have some students that choose this method. It's a fairly easy method, I believe. Uh, to me, as a teacher, this method is especially useful when you're multiplying a binomial, excuse me, a binomial times a trinomial, or if you're doing kind of different polynomials. Uh, it does work well with binomials. So let's go ahead and set up the box method for uh, 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. And here's the box method. You go ahead and draw a box. You put your first binomial on the top. And then you put your second binomial on the side. Then you go ahead and you complete this table just like you would a multiplication chart. You take 2x times 3x to get 6x squared. Then you take 3 times 3x to get 9x. Then you take 2x times 2 to get 4x. And you take 3 times 2 to get 6. So does everybody see how I just completed the multiplication there to fill out the box? Then you simplify what's inside the box. So we have 6x squared. We can't combine anything with that. And then 4x and 9x, we can combine those two to make 13x. And then we have that 6. So when you multiply 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 2 using the box method, that's what you get for a solution. 6x squared plus 13x plus 6. That's the box method. Let's do one more example of the box method here. Here we have x minus 5 and x squared plus 3x plus 4. So we have two terms times three terms. So I'm going to make a box that is 2 by 3. So I'm going to put x minus 5 on the side. And on the top, I'm going to put x squared plus 3x plus 4. Now, uh, putting it on the top or putting it on the side, that's pretty much interchangeable. Um, not a big difference. You'll still get the same answer when you multiply just because and multiplication, as we've talked about throughout the year, order doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and multiply this through. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. Uh, 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 5 is negative 15x. 4 times x is 4x. And 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. So now we've gone ahead and multiplied. Now we just combine like terms. We're going to have uh, x cubed. Uh, 3x squared and negative 5x squared would make negative 2x squared. 4x and negative 15x are like terms. We can combine those two to make negative 11x. And then we have that minus 20 there that does not have any like terms. So there we've gone ahead and multiplied both terms by the box method. And then we've gone ahead and combined our like terms, and we have our simplified solution. So that's the second method, which is the box method. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take you to the grand finale method, the FOIL method. And once again, as I said, this is the most popular. They call this the FOIL method because FOIL means first, outside, inside, last. The FOIL method, first, outside, inside last. What you do is you multiply the first terms, then you multiply the outside terms, then you multiply the inside terms, then you multiply the last. Keep in mind that the outside and inside terms will be like terms. You'll be able to combine those two. So after you do the O and the I, you're going to see that you can add those two together. They're going to be like terms. So that right there is the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, and last. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and put the FOIL method into action. Now, as I stated before, the FOIL method is really the exact same thing as the double distributive method. You do the same steps. It's just kind of a slick way of remembering everything you do when you multiply binomials. So if we go ahead and look at this, uh, example number one, x plus 4 times x plus 3, or x minus 3. So to simplify this, what we're going to do is use the FOIL method. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the first terms, x times x, which is x squared. Then we multiply the outside terms, which would be x and negative 3. That gives us negative 3x. 
Then we go with the inside, which would be the 4 and the x, to make 4x. And then we go last, which is the 4 and the negative 3, which makes negative 12. Then as you can see, we can combine the O and the I. The outside and inside are like terms. They can be combined. And then that simplifies for our final answer, which is x squared plus x minus 12. So you multiply the first terms, then the outside, then the inside, then the last. So it's F-O-I-L. Multiply the first, outside, inside, last. Let's look at example two. Multiply the first. Multiply the outside. Multiply the inside. And multiply the last. So if you multiply the first, you get 2m squared. If you multiply the outside, you get 3m. You multiply the inside, you get 4m. And if you multiply the last, you get 6. Then the outside and inside can be combined. All right, one last example here. x minus 3 times x minus 5. We go ahead and we multiply the first, the first terms in each uh, set of parentheses. Then we multiply the outside. Then we multiply the inside. Then we multiply the last, F-O-I-L. If you multiply the first, you get x squared. Outside, negative 5x. Inside, negative 3x. Last is 15. Combine like terms in the middle, you get x squared minus 8x plus 15. That's the FOIL method. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now you try. You choose the method, and I want you to multiply the following three binomials. Okay, you choose the method. So write these down. You choose the method. Go ahead and hit pause right now. And then when you've done all three, hit play. All right, here's the solutions. Number one should be x squared plus 10x plus 25. Number two should be 20m squared minus 7m minus 3. And number three should be 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Hopefully this video helped you understand multiplying binomials. Uh, hopefully you can come ready to class uh, tomorrow to practice this skill. And uh, we'll add a little bit more detail to it. Thanks for your time tonight. Made with DoodleCast Pro.